your moment of healing, deliverance, supernatural empowerment, fruitfulness, accurate prophecies, outpouring of the Holy Ghost, restorations, and all-round miracles. On the Supernatural Encounters with Sam Hunsu, a man called and anointed for a time like this. The Supernatural Encounters with Sam Hunsu. It's a miracle. In da 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 ba e gede bozunda di gabazunda. Listen, I am personally inviting you. I mean you that you are watching me right now to join me on this program it will be a moment of power hey, hey. moment of science and wonders is a moment of miracles i'll be sharing with you testimonies of lives that have been transformed by the power of god and uh, hey, hey. god will use this program to cause a change in your family in your household in your family if this program has been a blessing to you Follow Sam Hansu Ministries on Instagram slash Sam Hansu, Twitter slash Sam Hansu. like our page on Facebook at Sam Hansu Ministries, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Sam Hansu Ministries, or visit www.samhansu.com for prayers, counseling, and spiritual guidance. Call. 1-832-614-6833 Sam Hansu Ministries Restoring the blessings of regeneration Thank you Lord In the Wherever you are right now, why don't you just join me as we welcome the Holy Ghost afresh to this program to, to this today. And the God do God the Basunda the God the Holy Spirit will give you room. We ask you to take over and do that which only you can do. Let every life be blessed. Let there be encounters. Let there be revelations. Let there be let, 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 let there be spiritual open doors. Let there, let there be anointing. Let your power descend. In the name of Jesus Christ. So once again, I want to welcome you to the, this powerful program, the Supernatural Encounter. I remain your host, Samusu. And we bless God for the great work he has been doing through this platform, the testimonies, the, the miracles. I mean, it, it has been wonderful. It has been wonderful. It has been wonderful. And we return all the glory to God for this great work he has been doing on this platform. No man can take his glory, so we return the glory to him. And for you that you are watching today, maybe this is your first time or you are a regular viewer of this program, maybe you through the social media or through of our network partners, I will know that any time I come on air, it's only for someone. Today might be your own day. Maybe you need an encounter for your ministry, for your finances, for your children. Maybe you need healing in your body. You need deliverance. Whatever it is that God has said to do in your life today, my prayer is this. You will not miss it. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray today, everyone that will agree with me with your amen, the Lord will choose you out to attend to you. There will be a word for you. Look out for it. A word of knowledge will come that will be for just for you. And it shall be a blessing to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I pray today for the hand of God to rest on you for divine repositioning. I mean supernatural repositioning. That the Lord God Almighty will move you from where you are right now to where you are in his record. That the Lord will move your destiny. The Lord will move your marriage, your finances, your career, your ministry, everything that comes, even your children, your spouses. That the hand of the Lord will rest on you as we cry to God today in prayer, as we pray for divine repositioning. 
that the Lord by himself reposition you from where you are right now to where you're supposed to be and where you are in his record. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Recently, in one of, one of our uh, night prayers, every Friday night prayers, it has been wonderful, it has been powerful. The Lord up, I mean, there was a guy, a brother used to come, up, that used to come around to, to help us play the keyboard. And the Lord opened our eyes to see that this brother is, he has not even, has, is yet to be working in what he's born to do. Hallelujah. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I get me now. So such person, and in that realm, there was a revelation that the angels came and they were decorating him, taking him from where he is to where he's supposed to be. That's divine reposition. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I pray today that the hand of the Lord will reposition you. As you are watching me, as you are hearing me, it's not by coincidence, neither is it by accident. As you are watching, there's an anointing flowing from this platform. There's an anointing flowing from this anointed studio to every viewers all over the world. There's a word of grace coming your way right now. There's a word of deliverance coming your way. There's a word of healing coming your way. There's a word of blessing coming your way right now. By the hand of the Lord, we anoint you. We anoint your family. We are not your finances. We are not everything around you that concerns you. And you shall be repositioned for good. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's start today. So, yes, we started still yesterday. Or what I call divine reposition. And today we shall be also continue with that series. Or what I call praying for divine reposition. One of the key. That's why I love prayer so much. I'm a student in the school of prayer, and I will never graduate. Hallelujah. I repeat, I'm a student in the school of prayer, and I will never graduate. You can never graduate from the school of prayer. That's the truth. You can never graduate from the school of prayer. It's one of the ways by which you can actually receive that divine repositioning is through prayer. Now, what is divine repositioning? Divine repositioning is when the Lord... As remember you, when the Lord is, is trying to move you from where you are to where you're supposed to be in destiny. When the Lord is trying to reposition your ministry, your family, your finances. If you have been working outside the course of your destiny. If you have been working outside your divine purpose. When the Lord is trying to reposition you from where you thought you should you are to where God has ordained you to be. Now, the truth is this. If many of us could pray and ask the Lord, Father, open my eyes. I want to really want to know the level I supposed to be in your record right now. When the Lord gives you that picture, that revelation, if you play like a movie to you, man, you will be shocked at where you supposed to be and where you are. You will see the gap is still very, very far. That's the truth. Hey, Dada Bazundaya. I repeat. If you can, on your own, this is an assignment you can do. It's possible. You can, on your own, go in prayer and say, Lord, show me. Show me where I'm supposed to be by now and where I am. I want to see the difference. I want to see if I'm really working in the course of destiny, if I'm really working divine timing. Many people, if you go open your eyes to see where you are in the spiritual realm, the level the Lord has, the Lord has prepared for you, where you're supposed to be, and where you are right now, you will pray more. So divine repositioning is for you to pray to God to change your status from where you are to where he wants you to be. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. The truth is this. I repeat, I think I mentioned this yesterday. Wherever you are now is not good enough. There is a higher place for you. There is a better place for you in destiny. There is a better place the Lord has prepared for you more than where you are right now. And one of the ways by which you can secure, you can get to that place is through what is through prayer. So let's continue. First Chronicles chapter 4, talking about is the prayer of Jabez. Hallelujah. Verse 9. There was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than any of his brothers. That is divine agenda for him. His destiny. 
is predestined to do what to be more honorable than his brothers. I pray for you today. That which has been written concerning you, you will manifest it. If your amen will agree. That which has been written concerning you. Jesus Christ says, I go as it has been written concerning me. Hallelujah. That which I be written concerning you before you were born. That which I be written concerning you before the foundation of the earth. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus Christ. I, 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 mean, I, 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 I repeat this one again. If God will open, many of us will open our eyes and we see where we're supposed to be in the agenda of God. And where we are right now, I mean, we, we, we cry to God more in prayer than what we are doing right now. Thank you, Lord. That's why when it comes to subject of prayer, when I see people joking with prayer, or people play in the place of prayer, or people, I mean, just catching fun when they're supposed to pray, I mean, I love because... I know this has been a blessing to you. Do you want me to ask you, who is praying for you? Who is interested in for you? Who is standing in God for you? One of the ways by which you can enjoy such is for you to become today, become a covenant partner. Partner with us today. Go to that website, use the test donation and numbers on the screen, and become a monthly partner today. No amount is too late. Do you know what? Once you become a partner, you are enjoying from the blessing that God has given this ministry. And you will never remain the same. We are always standing in the gap and prayed for our partners without season. Your donation and your seed of love can make a great difference as we take the messages of Christ to the world. God bless you as you enroll today as a father. I understand the length at which prayer can go to change somebody's destiny. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. If these broadcasts have been a Blessing to you. Why not just, um, if you are watching on, on, on our network partners, invite your friend, your loved ones to watch with you. Don't watch alone. Invite your spouse, your children, sit together and watch this one because there's a word for you. If you are watching on social media or any platform, other platform, why not just share it right now and just be a blessing to someone. Someone on your timeline might need this word at this point in time. Just be a blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. There was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than of his brother. That is what God, that is what ability concerning him. It's meant to be more honorable by divine agenda. Hallelujah. Now, look at this one. His mother named him Jabez because his birth had been so painful. He was the one who prayed now. His birth had been so painful, the, the name Jabez means sorrowful. Hallelujah. That is what he inherited right from his birth. Let me frank with ourselves. This is the truth. This many people, everybody may not believe this, but this is the truth. Many people have inherited sorrow right from their birth. Uh, in one of my books, uh, I call I call deliverance 010101. I mean deliverance from the battle that you enter before, during, and after your birth. Hallelujah. But that's for that's a different subject entirely. But look at this scripture. The Bible says his mother named him Jabez because his birth had been so painful. Verse 10. He was the one who prayed to the God of Israel. What did he do? He prayed. To who? To the God of Israel. So you can pray yourself into divine repositioning. You can pray and ask the Lord, say, Father, I'm not comfortable with my present challenge, with my present status. I believe there is more to me than what I am right now. I mean, there is something in me that needs to manifest. There is a greatness in me that the world is waiting for. Whatever I've been limiting that greatness, let that greatness, let it, let it be removed, let that be removed right now. It was a prayer I was praying in the middle of the night. I said, Lord, there is something, I mean, there are any limitation that will limit me from not fulfilling what you have called me to do. Let that limitation be broken right now. This is the reality. The only way you can get to that level is through prayer. It's not by complaining, or by murmuring, or by looking for who to blame. No, those ones will never help you. 
Alanda da da ba sunda de gede bo sunda de gaba. So you can pray to the Lord. The Lord, we, we, you, that when you pray, you cry to the Lord in prayer, and that the Lord will help you, we empower you to change the course of your destiny. When Jabez realized what happened, <laughs> he refused to belong to the same level where others are. He understood that his destiny is more brighter than what is manifesting. He realized that where he is is not where he's supposed to be. And what did he do? He cried to the Lord. He prayed to the Lord. And he was the one who prayed to the God of Israel. Oh, that you will bless me and expand my territory. Please be with me in all that I do. And keep me from all trouble and pain. And what happened? And God granted him his request. Wherever you are right now, if you can open your mouth and pray. And ask the Lord. I'm joining my faith with your faith. Father, where I am now is not good enough. I'm not saying you are not eating. No. Listen. I'm not saying you are not. You, are, you don't have a house. You don't have a car. Those are, to me, those are just, it's, it's crash. Hallelujah. I'm not saying you are not, you are not, living, you are not in abroad. Fine. That means I got a crash. But wherever is your level today, this is his divine reality. God is speaking to someone right now. Whatever is your achievement today, there is more room for achievement. Hallelujah. Wherever you have achieved today, there is more room for achievement. There is more ground to be broken. I say, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, reposition me today. I'm praying. Pray, open your mouth and pray right now. Ask the Lord to reposition you. Jabez refused to keep quiet. A dado gada bazunda. A close mouth sometimes can be a close destiny. A da bazunda ya. Jabez, I say, Lord, reposition me. Lord, I know where I am now is not good enough. There's something in me that's crying to manifest. You know, maybe sometimes when we have a little success, we thought we have arrived. We thought that's all God for us. No, my brother and my sister are watching me right now. Anywhere in the world, wherever you are right now, you can do better than what you are doing. <laughs> you can do better than what you are doing right now. There is something in you that the world is waiting for. There is something in you. There is a gift in you. There is a talent in you. Oh, there is a grace upon your life that the world is waiting for. I agree with you right now. If your amen can agree with me, I call forth that star in you. I ask the hand of God will rest on you and you shall be divinely repositioned, taking you from where you are now to where you're supposed to be. It can be your marriage. It can be your finances. It can be your career. It can be your family, it can be for your children, it can be for any ministry. But I'm, I'm, I'm announcing to you, and I'm, 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 re, I'm repeating this to you right now. I'm saying this so you can, you can, there can be an awakening in you. Hallelujah. That where you are now is not good enough. I'm not saying you should not appreciate God for it. We thank God for where, I thank God for your life, where you are today. I thank God for where he has brought me. But, there's a higher place for you. And the only way you can get us to do what is to be revealing reposition. And one of the ways which I'm talking about is, what, is through what is through prayer. So I'm talking about praying for divine reposition. Thank you, Jesus Christ. So Jabez cried. He listened to this very quickly. I've, I've, I've realized in those days we thought it's only African that have foundational problem. No. Everywhere in the world, people have foundational problem. Hallelujah. Except those who are privileged enough, who somebody has prayed them out, that someone has laid a good foundation for them, that somebody has, has have set God in their family and have stand to do or to, to, to pray them out. Hallelujah. So Jabez realized that his foundation is not good enough. And that where he is, is not where he's supposed to be. And that there's a better place for him in destiny. So what he do? He cried to the Lord in prayer. And I know 
I know of a God that answers prayer. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know of a God that never changed, that he has never changed. That same God that changed the destiny of Jabez, that repositioned Jabez. That same God is still alive. If you can talk to him right now, wherever you are watching me from, there is something in your life that you are not happy with. Instead of complaining and blame the government of your nation, blame everyone around you, blame your parents, blame your loved ones, blame just anyone, your spouses, why not just go to the Lord in prayer and talk to God in prayer? Turn to Jesus Christ. So Jabez pray and oh, that you will bless me and expand my territory. Please be with me in all that I do and keep me from all trouble and pain. And the God granted his request. So every prayer you pray right now is receiving divine attention in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, chapter 6 of Judges. I'm praying for someone right now. The hand of the Lord is resting on you. You have been divinely repositioned. Where you are now is not good enough academically, spiritually. There is a higher place for you. You can do better than where you are right now. I command the hand of God to rest on you mightily. And you shall be divinely repositioned. I know this has been a blessing to you. Do you want me to ask you? Who is praying for you? Who is interceding for you? Who is standing in God for you? One of the ways by which you can enjoy such is for you to become today, become a covenant partner. Partner with us today. Go to that website, use the test donation and numbers on the screen, and become a monthly partner. Today. No amount is too late. Do you know what? Once you become a partner, you are enjoying from the blessing that God has given this ministry, and you will never remain the same. We are always standing in the gap and prayed for our partners without season. Your donation and your seed of love can make a great difference. As we take the messages of Christ to the world. God bless you as you enroll today as a father. Your moment of healing, deliverance, supernatural empowerment, fruitfulness, accurate prophecies, outpouring of the Holy Ghost, restorations, and all round miracles. On. The Supernatural Encounters with Sam Hunsu, a man called and anointed for a time like this. The Supernatural Encounters with Sam Hunsu. It's a miracle. Listen, I am personally inviting you, I mean you, that you are watching me right now to join me on this program it will be a moment of power hey, hey moment of science and wonders it's a moment of miracles i'll be sharing with you testimonies of lives that have been transformed by the power of god and uh, hey, hey, god will use this program to cause a change in your family in your household in your family. if this program has been a blessing to you Follow Sam Hansu Ministries on Instagram slash Sam Hansu, Twitter slash Sam Hansu. Like our page on Facebook at Sam Hansu Ministries. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Sam Hansu Ministries. Or visit www.samhansu.com for prayers, counseling, and spiritual guidance. Call 1 832 614 6833 1 832 614 6833 Sam Hansu Ministries Restoring the Blessings of Regeneration Moving you from where you are right now to where he wants to be live. Hallelujah. Ada de Gede Bozundaya. Ela da 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 basunda de Gede Bozunda de Gabazindaya. Adoga da da basunda de Gede Bozundaya. I ask the Lord, hand of the Lord, we rest on you mightily. I ask the hand of the Lord, we rest on you mightily. And you shall be divinely, even your children, your ministry shall be divinely repositioned. Your gifts and your gifting is that the basuda shall be divinely, you shall be divinely repositioned. And the hand of the Lord will shoot out your destiny. And the hand of the Lord will take you from where you are to where you want you to be. 
and to where you are this record in the name of Jesus Christ. Chapter 6 of Judges, and from verse 1, the Israelites did evil in, this, in the Lord's sight. So the Lord handed them over to the midnight for seven years. Hallelujah. Turn to Jesus Christ for seven years. The midnight was so quiet that the Israelites Israel made hidden places to for themselves in their mountain caves and strongholds. Whenever the Israelites planted their crops, hallelujah, marriage from Midian, Amalek, and the people of the East who attack Israel. Now, to cut that story short, when God go into verse 6, so Israel was reduced to starvation. Note verse 6. Israel was reduced to starvation. Hallelujah. By the Midianite. Then, look at what happened. What did they do? Then the Israelite cried out to the Lord for help. Like I said yesterday, in our last day episode, I said, sometimes the Lord will allow some things to happen in order for us to be divinely repositioned. Because as a human being, we are always comfortable in our situation. Sometimes we, we thought, oh, maybe this is all, all I got to achieve. It is all heaven package for me. But sometimes God will tell you, no, my son, my, my daughter, I have more for you than what where you are right now. I have something greater in store for you. There is um, something that is a blessing in store for you than where you are right now. So, and uh, if God is ministering, God is talking to you and you could not listen, something may happen to cause you to, uh, to wake up. Hallelujah. So starvation caused the Israelites to cry to the Lord for help. When they cried out to the Lord because of the Midian, the Lord sent a prophet to the Israelites. He said, this is what the Lord said, The God of Israel really has brought you up out of slavery in Egypt. I rescue you from the Egyptian and from all who oppress you. I drove you out, your enemies, and gave you their land. Now, go with me to verse 11. Hallelujah. Then the angel of the Lord came and sat beneath the great tree of at Ophrah, which belonged to Joash of the clan of Abias, Gideon, son of Joash, was threshing wheat at the bottom of a wine pricer to hide the grain from the Midianites. Now, Gideon was trying to hide even the grain from the Midianites. Now, verse 12, look at this one. This is where I'm going. Verse 12, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, Mighty hero, the Lord is with you. Can you imagine a hero, a hero, sorry. Can you imagine a hero who is running from battle, who is hiding from battle. Because he's not yet divinely repositioned for that assignment. He can even realize what he carried. Oh my goodness. How many people are walking on the streets today that are yet to realize what they are carrying? Even believers. How many people who are, who are today who are out there who are yet to realize the gifts they are carrying, the potential they are carrying, the hero in them. Say to yourself, there is a hero in me. <laughs> there is a hero in me. Say to yourself, there is a hero in me. <laughs> there is a hero in you. <laughs> That's why I keep announcing to you. I keep declaring for you. That where you are now is not good enough. Maybe you have been running from battles. No, don't run from battles. Are you hearing me? Ask the Lord for direction on how to overcome. Because the battles you run from today is awaiting you in the future. Why not confront that battle and uh, with the help of God and overcome and cross over to the other side of your destiny? Allah, that I pray for someone right now, the hand of God will rest on you. That which is in you shall manifest. You will not die with your gifts. You will fulfill all your destinies in the name of Jesus Christ. How many heroes have died every, are dying every day without their light, without their destiny being seen in the light of the day, without their star being shining? But for you, because you have spared your time to tune in to this platform right now, to watch me at this moment, that hero in you will emerge. The champion in you will manifest. If your amen will agree with me, I do gather basundaya. 
the star in you will manifest. You will shine brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus Christ. There's a potential in you. The world is waiting for you. The Bible said the whole world is waiting for the manifestation of the children of God. The world is waiting for you. Your family is waiting for you. You are the one that God has ordained, assigned to liberate your family. You are the one that God has ordained, assigned, anointed to rewrite the history of your family. The way Jabez did. The way, um, the way Gideon also did. You can do likewise. Hallelujah. You are alive today because God has a plan for you. Because he has a purpose for you. Because he wants to use you. That's why you are under this teaching right now. It's not by accident. It's not by coincidence. That business you are doing, that's a better, higher place for you. That ministry you are into, that's a higher place for you. Hallelujah. You can do better than what you are doing right now. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, your star will not be shut down. In the name of Jesus Christ, the potential you will speak for. Hey, the greatness in you will emerge. You are not a failure. You are a success. As long as you have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, and if you have not, before this program, this is the end of, 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 this pro, of this program, I will lead you to Christ because that's the beginning of it all. Hallelujah. Ninda do gadabazunda de bazindayak. You have the mind of Christ. You can do exploit. But for you to do that exploit, you have to be divinely repositioned. That's the truth. Thank you, Spirit. If this word that is coming forth right now is for you, key yourself into it. Don't sit on your testimony, share your testimony. Because I see the hand of the Lord touching lives. Touching lives. Touching lives. Touching lives. Causing obstacles to be removed. Removing mountains. Destroying obstacles. And reposition you for greatness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> now let's continue. Verse 12, chapter 6 of Judges, verse 12. The angel of the Lord appeared to him, that's to Gideon, and said, Mighty hero, the Lord is with you. Mighty, 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 mighty. There's something in you. Hey, you are not ordinary. <laughs> you are not ordinary. I pray for some right now, every limitation that has been placed on you in any form, in any way, to reduce you to nothing, to hinder that which you are carrying. By the reason of the anointing, let that limitation be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anywhere your greatness has been locked up, with the key of David, I open up your greatness right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, so, a hero who is afraid of battles. That's what I said. That's what, that's what Gideon was trying to do. Now, let's continue. Verse 13. Sir, Gideon replied, If the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to you? Maybe you are asking yourself now, Lord, if you are with me, why am I going through? I'm going through. It's because you have not been divinely repositioned yet. If you are divinely repositioned, but you don't need to, you don't need to say it out. People around you will see it. The world will celebrate it. Because the hand of the Lord has what has repositioned. Your moment of healing. Deliverance. Supernatural empowerment. Fruitfulness, accurate prophecies, outpouring of the Holy Ghost, restorations, and all round miracles. On the supernatural encounters with Sam Hansu.
a man called and anointed for a time like this. The Supernatural Encounters with Sam Hunsu. It's a miracle. In da 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 ba e gede bozunda di gabazunda. Listen, I am personally inviting you. I mean you, that you are watching me right now to join me on this program. It will be a moment of power. Hey, hey. moment of signs and wonders. It's a moment of miracles. I'll be sharing with you testimonies of lives that have been transformed by the power of God and. Uh, hey, hey. God will use this program to cause a change in your family, in your household, in your family. If this program has been a blessing to you, follow Sam Hansu Ministries on Instagram slash Sam Hansu, Twitter slash Sam Hansu, like our page on Facebook at Sam Hansu Ministries, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Sam Hansu Ministries, or visit www.samunsu.com For prayers, counseling and spiritual guidance Call 1-832-614-6833 1-832-614-6833 Sam Hunsu Ministries Restoring the blessings of regeneration I know this has been a blessing to you Do you want me to ask you? Who is praying for you? Who is interceding for you? Who is standing in God for you? One of the ways by which you can enjoy such is for you to become today, become a covenant partner. Partner with us today. Go to that website, use the test donation uh, numbers on the screen, and become a monthly partner today. No amount is too late. Do you know what? Once you become a partner, you are enjoying from the blessing that God has given this ministry. And you will never remain the same. We are always standing in the gap and prayed for our partners without season. Your donation and your seed of love can make a great difference as we take the messages of Christ to the world. God bless you as you enroll today as a father. I see you being repositioned in the name of Jesus Christ. I see you, I mean you, watching me right now, hearing my voice anywhere all over the world. In the, the Lord has to see you. The Lord has anointed you to reposition you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And where are all the miracles our ancestors told us about? Didn't they say the Lord has brought us up out of Egypt? But now, but now, the Lord has abandoned us and had handed us over to the Midianites. Hallelujah. Eda do gada bazindaya. Ele brona verse fourteen. Then the Lord, the Lord, the Lord turned to him and said, "Go with this strength you have. Go in this might." And that, and that version will say, "Go in this might and rescue Israel from the Midianites. I am sending you." Hallelujah. Can you see after me? The Lord is repositioning me to use me as a deliverer to deliver my family, my city, my nation, my continent, and the entire world is possible. Say to yourself, the Lord is, is repositioning me to use me to liberate my nation, my family, my household. The Lord is repositioning me to use me to rewrite the history of my family. The Lord is repositioning me to use me to change the course of people's destiny. To use me to affect my world for good. The Lord is repositioning me to use me to make great impact in my generation. Say to yourself loud and clear. I am being repositioned today to make a better, a, a better impact, a greater impact, a higher impact for the matter. Say to yourself, I am being repositioned today for greatness. I'm being repositioned today so I can fulfill my destiny. I can become what the Lord says I will become. I'm being repositioned today so that every prophecy I've had about myself will become manifestation. I am being repositioned from the realm of waiting 
to the realm of manifestation. Hallelujah. Is that you? Say to yourself, I am being divinely repositioned today from the realm of waiting to the realm of manifestation. I'm being divinely repositioned today in order for me to fulfill my destiny and become achiever in life. Say to yourself, me in the name of Jesus Christ, I, the hand of the Lord is resting on me. The, hand, the Lord is choosing me right now, anointing me right now to use me in order to cause me to manifest what I am carrying. Hallelujah. Gideon was carrying a greatness in him, but he never realized what he carried until the Israelite cried to God in prayer and until he received an encounter with the angel to know that he is the one that had been chosen to do what? To become, to liberate the nation of Israel. To become what? To become a deliverer. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I release on you today the impartation. Now, if you are in this environment, Join us tonight. And by the grace of God, we should be live by the grace of God. I'll be live by the grace of God for the first time. Our service should be live tonight. Or if you are, if you are outside his team, but you are his team, join us tonight. Because there shall be impartation for what? For divine reposition. If you are coming, invite others. Don't come alone. This is a season. You don't want to end this season with the same level, the same status. There will be an impartation for repositioning, for change of status. So join us if you are in his environment. Join us tonight. Don't miss that, say that, that, that experience. I pray for you right now. The hand of God is repositioning you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any altar, this for this person, any altar contending with your repositioning, I command the fire of God to consume that altar right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, chapter 6 of, of Judges. And the verse 14. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have and rescue Israel from the Midianites. I am sending you. I, I want you to say again to yourself, The hand of the Lord is resting on me right now. I am being anointed and I am being sent to liberate my generation, to liberate my family. To make a great impact in this generation. Where I am now is not good enough. There is a higher place for me. Declare, say to yourself. Say to yourself. Where I am right now is not good enough. There is a higher place for me. Therefore, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I keep myself into this world. I am anointed. After the order of Gideon. In, to go and become a deliverer, to liberate my family, to liberate my generation from every form of infirmity, from every form of bondage, I am available. Lord, use me. Pray that prayer very well. And the Lord will locate you right now, wherever you are. You can be full of hearing voices, but you are sure, sure there's something will change around you because every word you are hearing right now is just for you. Hallelujah. Where you are now is not good enough. No matter how many souls you have won for the kingdom, maybe you are a minister, you can't do more. No matter how many lives you have been affecting, you can affect more lives. Maybe you are not, you have not started your own at all. I told me you have not, you have not even touched your destiny. It's time for you to move. You are being divinely repositioned. The Lord is repositioning you to become what He has written concerning you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank the Holy Ghost for what you are doing right now. Look at this word. Look at this word, verse 15. But the Lord, Gideon replied, How can I rescue Israel? My client is, not, is the weakest in the whole tribe of Manasseh, and I am the least in my, fa in my entire family. I love that one because, listen to me very well, that's why I call it divine. It's divine because it's of the Lord. The Lord God Almighty doesn't use those who are those who are strong. He only chooses those who are weak and empower them and make them strong. Hallelujah. So that no man can boast and say it's because I am strong. That's why the Lord is using me. So I don't care wherever is wherever is your foundation, your background. If that's not what God is looking for, what God is looking for is availability. It's when you cry 
and tell him and say, Lord, I am here. Use me. I am tired of going through this. I'm tired of going from one pattern to the other. Use me to liberate my family. Use me to liberate destinies. I want to make great impact. That's what the Lord is looking for. Availability. Thank you, Jesus Christ. The Lord will use you. You have been found qualified today. The Lord is repositioning you. He is repositioning your finances. He's repositioning your ministry. He's repositioning your career. He's repositioning you. Your seat of honor that has been stolen, the Lord is restoring that seat back for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at what Gideon was saying. He said, how can I rescue Israel? My client is the weakest in the whole tribe of Manasseh. And I am the least in my entire family. Maybe you are the least. Maybe you are the Lord, I'm not qualified. I'm so weak and so on and so forth. The qualification God is looking for sometimes not what man is looking for. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. For you to be alive today, that's, that means you are qualified. For God to have brought you this far, despite everything you have gone through, you are qualified. <laughs> For you to be opportune to be hearing my voice right now, that means you are qualified. Because not everyone who is opportune to hear this. Because there is a word for you. That's why you, you are able to, to tune in right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. That's why I will always announce and advise. If you are watching us on any of our network partners, why not invite your friends, your loved ones. If you are watching on, on TV, on any, any TV, why not invite your loved ones, invite others to watch with you. Hallelujah. Share the link. If you are watching on, on, on online, share the link. If you are watching on, on social media, tag your friends. Share it. Be a blessing. Because somebody may need this word at this point in time. I've seen stars going about with cars without achieving anything. I've seen great destinies. People who have great potentials. Heroes dying every day without their star. We see the light of the day. I've seen great men and women who are supposed to be great in life are rendered to nothing without becoming what they are meant to become. I've seen men and women I've cancer as many as, 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 as I can by the grace of God in my little journey in ministry, as a small boy in ministry. I've cancer so many great great people who are supposed to be great, but right now they, are, they, are, they have not even discovered themselves yet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. But for you that you are watching me right now, the law will use you. No matter how weak you are, he will empower you. I said this in one of the episodes, I think last upper week. If God can use me, God can use you. I'm not qualified. I'm the least qualified. That's the truth. I am the least qualified. That's why every day I pray to the Lord. I say, Father, hum I give me the grace to remain humble, to remain humble, to remain humble, because I know whatever you are doing in the ministry, wherever we are today, it's not because we are qualified, it's your, by your grace, and I don't want to take any glory to myself. You may not be qualified, but the Lord can empower you to make you qualified. Oh, Lord, I'm a son, daddy, God. Am I, am I, I, I don't know, Holy Spirit, I want to believe somebody, somebody is, is, is being blessed today by this word. It may not be for everybody, but it might be for just one person. And when that person is liberated, heaven is happy. That's the truth. I'll be back shortly, don't go anywhere. This is, this is, I love all this we're doing here, and uh, there shall be impartation today. If this program has been a blessing to you, follow Sam Hansu Ministries on Instagram slash Sam Hansu. Twitter slash Sam Hansu. Like our page on Facebook at Sam Hansu Ministries. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Sam Hansu Ministries. Or visit www.samhansu.com for prayers, counseling, and spiritual guidance. Call 1 832 614 6833. 1 832 614 
6833. Sam Hunt's Ministries. Restoring the blessings of regeneration. I know this has been a blessing to you. Do you want me to ask you? Who is praying for you? Who is interceding for you? Who is standing in God for you? One of the ways by which you can enjoy such is for you to become today, become a covenant partner. Partner with us today. Go to that website. Use the test donation and numbers on the screen and become a monthly partner. Today. No amount is too late. Do you know what? Once you become a partner, you are enjoying from the blessing that God has given this ministry and you will never remain the same. We are always standing in the gap and prayed for our partners without season. Your donation and your seed of love can make a great difference as we take the messages of Christ to the world. God bless you as you enroll today as a father. Your moment of healing, deliverance, supernatural empowerment, fruitfulness, accurate prophecies, outpouring of the Holy Ghost, restorations, and all-round miracles on the Supernatural Encounters with Sam Hunsu. A man called and anointed for a time like this. The Supernatural Encounters with Sam Hunsu. It's a miracle. Listen, I am personally inviting you, I mean you, that you are watching me right now to join me on this program. It will be a moment of power. Hey, hey. Moment of signs and wonders is a moment of miracles. I'll be sharing with you testimonies of lives that have been transformed by the power of God. And uh, <laughs> God will use this program to cause a change in your family, in your household, in your family. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you once again. Welcome back. So I pray for you today in the name of Jesus Christ that the hand of the Lord will choose you, anoint you, empower you, and strengthen you to be used. For great impact in this generation. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, you all will not just be a ministry. It might be it might be business in your career, in your office. The Lord wants to use you to make great impact. Hallelujah. The Lord wants to use you to make great impact. That's what the Lord is looking for. He's looking for men and women that will humble themselves enough. Hallelujah. So one of the key to be divinely repositioned is humility. And the ability to realize that you need the help of God, which you can always do through prayer. And say, Lord, look at me. I am not qualified. But I know when I cry to you, you will empower me and use me like Jabez. You use me like Gideon. Hallelujah. The Lord will use you. Thank you, Father. I pray quickly for everyone watching me right now on social media. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will use you to reposition. The Lord will use you to reposition your family. The Lord will use you to write the history of your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I agree with you today, everyone watching me right now over the world, in the name of Jesus Christ. For because you are part of this today, the hand of the Lord will single you up for greatness. Your star will shine. Your voice shall be heard in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe this has been a blessing to you. I will continue tomorrow with this particular teaching from this particular John chapter 6, if that's Holy Spirit wants us to continue from there. But before you go, I declare, receive the impartation for divine reposition. As you cry to God, why not God lift up your voice and lift up your hands and say, Lord Jesus, where I am now is not good enough. The level I am now is not good enough. The status I am right now is not good enough. I want you to touch me as I cry to you in prayer, reposition me. From where I am to where I am to be. Hallelujah. Reposition me, Lord. Reposition me, Lord. Reposition me, Lord. From where I am to where I am supposed to be in your record. Thank you, Jesus Christ. If you are hasty, join me tonight, 7 p.m. For another day. For impartation. For divine reposition. Join us in the service. And it just you can put it. I just wish I should be online. As by God's grace, I should be online. You can also join me online by the grace of God tonight. By the grace of God. Don't miss it. I know you are blessed today. I'm glad you tune in. I'm happy the Lord, the Lord is speaking to you right now. Go and prosper. Go and shine. Go and reward. 
The hero you will emerge, and nothing will stop you. Say to yourself, I am unstoppable. <laughs> I am unstoppable. Say to yourself, I am unstoppable. Nothing will stop me. I will manifest my destiny to the fullness. Every potential in me will manifest. I will die empty. I will not die with any of my gifts and talents. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. God bless you. Join me again tomorrow. The same time. The same platform. Until then, go and be divinely repositioned. Your moment of healing, deliverance, supernatural empowerment, fruitfulness, accurate prophecies, outpouring of the Holy Ghost, restorations, and all round miracles. On the supernatural encounters with Sam Hunsu. A man called and anointed for a time like this. The Supernatural Encounters with Sam Hunsu. It's a miracle. Listen, I am personally inviting you, I mean you, that you are watching me right now to join me on this program. It will be a moment of power. Hey, hey. Moment of signs and wonders is a moment of miracles. I'll be sharing with you testimonies of lives that have been transformed by the power of God. And uh, <laughs> God will use this program to cause a change in your family, in your household, in your family. Watch it. I know this has been a blessing to you. Do you want me to ask you? Who is praying for you? Who is interceding for you? Who is standing in God for you? One of the ways by which you can enjoy such is for you to become today become a covenant partner partner with us today go to that website use the test donation and numbers on the screen and become a monthly partner today no amount is too late do you know what once you become a partner you are enjoying from the blessing that god has given this ministry and you will never remain the same we are always standing in the gap and prayed for our partners without season your donation and your seed of love can make a great difference as we take the messages of Christ to the world. God bless you as you enroll today as a father. If this program has been a blessing to you, follow Sam Hansu Ministries on Instagram slash Sam Hansu, Twitter slash Sam Hansu, like our page on Facebook at Sam Hansu Ministries. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Sam Hansu Ministries or visit www.samunsu.com For prayers, counseling and spiritual guidance, call 1-832-614-6833 1-832-614-6833 Sam Hunsu Ministries, restoring the blessings of regeneration. I know this has been a blessing to you. Do you want me to ask you? Who is praying for you? Who is interceding for you? Who is standing in God for you? One of the ways by which you can enjoy such is for you to become today, become a covenant partner. Partner with us today. Go to that website. Use the test donation and numbers on the screen and become a monthly partner today. No amount is too late. Do you know what? Once you become a partner, you are enjoying from the blessing that God has given this ministry. And you will never remain the same. We are always standing in the gap and prayed for our partners without season. Your donation and your seed of love can make a great difference as we take the messages of Christ to the world. God bless you as you enroll today as a father.